professor in LG Institute of Engineering and Technology in Department of Electronics and Communication. This video is about subject Microwave Engineering. So, in this video, we are going to learn about various active microwave components. In the last video, we have seen about the various passive microwave components. So now, the microwave solid state devices. Under this, we are going to learn about the semiconductor microwave devices. As we know that, okay, all the semiconductor microwave devices or the diode, they are made up of the semiconductor material and which uses the property that is the junctional property. So whenever we want to change the designed property, we need to play with the junctional property of the semiconductor material. So now these are the various diodes that are the variator diode, step recovery diode, parametric amplifier, tunnel diode, gun diode, pin diode, shock key barrier diode. So these are the various diodes. Now we are talking about the microwave frequency. So frequency is the high. So as the frequency is the high, okay, the junction, the semiconductor junction that has to make the thinner. Now as you know that the junction that is the thinner, then it is very difficult to obtain the high power. So that is why the difficulty is there. So that is why we need to go for the some other thing which is not depending on to the junctional property of the semiconductor material. So that is why it is divided into the two different parts. One is known as avalanche transit time devices and other are known as the bulk devices. So this two categories avalanche transit time devices they are designed to achieve the minimum transit time and the bulk devices which uses the bulk property of the semiconductor material. So now there are the four different categories. One is using the bipolar junction transistor, field effect transistor, transport electron devices and avalanche diode. In the bipolar junction transistor, bipolar junction transistor that can be used, then the hetero junction which is used, which is made up of only one material, okay, that is the, the homo junction uh, transistor, okay, but then the hetero junction bipolar transistor which is you which is made by using the two different material okay the tunnel diode which works using the tunneling effect okay and uh, the field effect transistor which uses the j fat mass fat okay high electron mobility transistors then the charge couple devices transport electron devices that are the gun diode that uh, ISA, uh, LSA diode, INP diode, CDTE diode, avalanche diode, which, okay, avalanche transit time diodes, okay, impact diode, trans, tra trapped plasma, avalanche triggered transit time diode, okay, the barrier diode, okay, so these various are the microwave diodes okay so these are the four different category now while we are making the diode the choosing of the cho choice of the substrate okay how can you choose the substrate of the material that which provides you the high mobility of the electron so that kind of the substrate that we can choose so here the silicon or the argarium arsenide Okay, that can be used. So most of the microwave devices, they are fabricated on a GAAS substrate because of its high mobility. A silicon substrate 
that has the advantage of the low cost and the high yield and the drift velocity that is the electric field okay multiplied by the mobility of the electron so this is about the basics of the various solid state devices microwave diodes in which the microwave diodes is much more than just a two element device which has the limited capabilities so many devices they are developed using the non linear iv characteristics that is the current and the voltage characteristics and the cv characteristics that is the capacitors versus the voltage okay characteristics of the pn and the schottky barrier diode now the according to the non linear iv characteristics we have the following advantage that is we can go for the frequency multi mixing applications uh, harmonic generation the switching modulation limiting detection everything we can and using the non linear cv characteristics frequency multiplication voltage control oscillator voltage tune filter frequency conversion harmonic generation parametric amplification we achieve using this property of the diode okay so short key barrier junction of the semiconductor and the matter so now we are going to discuss about the first diode which is the short key barrier diode this short key barrier diode the uh, symbol you can see that this is the symbol of the short key barrier diode and the construction of the short key barrier diode you can see so in this here there is a n type okay n type of semiconductor is there and at the one end there is a metal contact is there and at the cathode okay the ohmic contact that is provided so that two node they are known as the anode and the cathode okay here again you can see that ki whenever the lower voltage that is applied okay and at the particular lower voltage okay what we have we have okay the characteristics okay that is the about uh, this the current is the move okay so the one semiconductor region of the pn junction diode that can be replaced by the uh, by a non ohmic uh, rectifying contact a short key contact that is uh, easily formed okay by using on an end type of the silicon the metal region that becomes the anode and the n plus region that is added to ensure that the cathode contact is ohmic and the silicon diode that turn on at the lower voltage okay and then the pn junction diode okay and the internal charge storage okay that is again the reduce under the forward bias now when we compare okay about this is the pn uh, short key diode the symbol okay and you can see over here that whenever the non linear iv characteristics of the diode is this and this is the non linear cv characteristics of the diode that it operates at the very less voltage so the forward voltage drop of the short key barrier diode is very low okay compared to the normal pn junction diode okay and the vr characteristics of the short key barrier diode are very stripper compared to the normal pn junction okay the features of the short key barrier diode that are the low turn on voltage when the turn on voltage that is between the 0.2 to 0.3 voltage you consider particularly for the silicon diode this is between the 0.6 and the 0.7 voltage from a standard diode fast recovery time a fast recovery time that means a small amount of the storage charge that can be used for high speed switching applications low junctional capacitors that it occupies the very small area 
after the result obtained from the wire point contact of the silicon and that is why the capacitance levels that are very small so next like this is about the short key barrier diode now the next is the vector diode in the parametric amplification of the microwaves okay the vector diodes that can be used this is the symbol of the vector diode which consists of the analog anode and the cathode this is the characteristics of the vector diode as you can see that as the reverse voltage that is very small the capacitance value that is more while you are increasing the reverse voltage the capacitance value that can be decreases so this property of the vector diode that can be used in the parametric application of the microwave devices so this is the again the construction of the vector diode while you are applying the low reverse voltage bias voltage to the vector diode there is the narrow depletion region which is formed and which provide us the large capacitance value similarly here we can see that the high reverse voltage that is applied this depletion region okay that is the narrow okay and it provides the small capacitance value okay so this way the vector diode construction is this it is made up of the p type and the m type of the material okay so this is about the vector diode construction there are the various applications of the vector diode that are the voltage control oscillator vco in the fm system in the instrumentation in the electronic wafer okay so this is the application of the vector diode now the next diode is the pin diode pin diode the name itself says that it's like the pn diode but there is a sandwich that is the intrinsic material is sandwich between the p type and the n type of the layer so it's similar to the pn diode with the intrinsic layer in between which results in the smaller junctional capacitors okay it and it is very useful in the as a microwave switch okay so now here you can see the diagram construction of the pn diode which consists of the p plus p plus substrate and the n plus substrate okay the width of the p plus substrate that is the wp and the n substrate is the wn and the width of the intrinsic layer that's the w and the reverse voltage that is applied okay here it is the equivalent circuitry for the pn junction diode okay so now the applications of the pn junction diode okay that is in the communication system it can be used as a wide band switch okay and it is also used as a modulator in case of the communication system okay so this way the various applications like the rf and rc controlled microwave switches rf and variable attenuator in limiter circuit in the photo detector and the photovoltaic cell and the rf modulator circuit okay this is used okay so this is about the p diode now the next category of the diode is the gun diode this is the simple the the, uh, the symbol of the gun diode this gun diode is a transferred electron devices and which is composed of only one type of the semiconductor okay it exhibits the negative differential resistance this exhibiting the negative differential resistance property that is used okay in case of the gun diode and which works on the gun effect 
okay and mainly in the gut oscillator for producing the microwaves the gun diode that can be used this is the construction of the gun diode okay here you can see that the 2n plus substrates are there which are made up of the gaas that is the gallium arsenide and between that there is a buffer and buffer is there and the anode and the cathode that is provided okay to protect it from the temperature the fixing that is also provided okay so here another construction you can see in the diagram n plus n plus in between that that is a n layer okay n2 metallic context that has been provided between the two n plus terminal okay here it's a characteristics of the gun diode okay that is at the when the small voltage okay is applied okay the high value of the current okay that can be flow okay through the gun diode okay so there is a peak point after the peak point again gradually the current value that is decreases and after the point at which okay again it starts increasing so this point is referred to as a valley point so transfer electron devices this way transfer the electrons into the lower energy level from the higher energy level okay so as the bias voltage increase from a low value the electron acquires the higher energy and their velocities are increases so they transit very fastly okay so when the field strength reaches a threshold value okay the collision that becomes sufficiently so that the mobility that is reduce and it corresponds to this the electron in the lower energy valley that is transferred to the higher energy valley and due to that it exhibits the negative resistance away the various advantage of the diode they are the portable and the small size devices the cost of the manufacturing it's low it possesses the better noise to signal ratio and it immune from the noise disturbances the gun diode that is reliable and stable at the higher frequency it has the high bandwidth of the operation the disadvantage of the gun diode that is has the poor temperature stability and operating current that is higher and that is why the power dissipation that is more and the frequency of the gun diode is low below the 10 gigahertz frequency the applications of the gun diode that is they are used in the oscillators amplifiers radio communication military communication radar application fast control equipment in the microelectronics for the modulation of the laser beams it is also used in the tachometers in the sensors for detection in the tree pass detecting system indoor operating system pedestrian safety system safety system so these are the various applications okay that is uh, uh, that is why the gun diode that is the mainly used in case of the microwave devices so thank you very much